Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I was meditating and just, uh, you know, just, just, just meditating on the times. All right, these times we're living, man. You know, this is some crucial times and also beautiful times a beautiful time to live in it's crucial but it's beautiful and why is it beautiful because the lord is truly fulfilling prophecies he's truly fulfilling the prophecies in which he gave unto the prophets to speak all right the lord is about to bring in our kingdom man he's about to bring in our kingdom for us just little old us man he's about to bring this world to a halt and, and 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 refresh it all right and make it all new for us under Yahweh Shai man okay all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's beautiful scriptures say second Edra 6 um uh, Esau is the end of the world but Jacob is up next that follow so when you understand that you know that this is the end of the world of Esau but it's the beginning of Jacob that follow after Esau's destruction you know so this is some beautiful times but it's crucial why is it crucial because the lord is about to throw the lord is putting judgment out there man judgment all right now this year elder apostle tahar he coined this year the year of prophecy all right and you've seen all through this year man prophecy you know it's like judgment after judgment you know uh things uh uh, prophecies being fulfilled one thing leading up to the next you know get it's, it's uh gearing to the next prophecy you know you see that now um the going to the stores they're making you scan your hand your temperature that's the way of that's the, that's the 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 way of the mark of the beast which is the rfid microchip uh i just found out yesterday here in newark new jersey all right they have the vaccines and now they're texting people and, you know, people, you know, getting it out there for Newark residents to go down and volunteer and take a vaccine, man. You know, now they're saying that uh, you can, you don't have to, it's volunteer, but it's here. The vaccines are here and I'm dumbass idiots are going down there to do it. You know, I don't know yet how many people are doing it, but, you know, there's some, hey, our people are simps, man. Okay. They're, they're, they're really sheeple you know they follow the media and they do whatever mainstream media tells them to do you know this illusion of this this virus lingering in the air and we supposed to be sick you know meanwhile nobody's sick anymore but then you could have you could test positive for it it's all bananas man you know so you know judgment man uh you know, I, I was thinking of this, the Lord is, is chiseling, you know, the stones. You know how you chisel a stone with an instrument and them little rocks fall off, you know, wait till the Lord crack the stone and, and large amounts of millions of Israelites and people around the world is going to die, man. You know, in a larger number. All right. So this is some crucial times, man, and also beautiful times. So I want to read here Isaiah 13 and 9 because our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is not playing. Okay? Seek the Lord while you may while he while he may be found, man. Call upon him while he is near. You know? Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So our Lord is coming cruel, man. Yahweh Shai is returning back as a lion, not as a physical animal lion, but as the, the attitude of a vicious, roaring lion, man, okay, that's going to tear shit up, all right, two-thirds of our people that are into this social media, mainstream media shit, you know, you're going to be destroyed, all right, you're going to be sacrificed just as long in this place, Babylon, Babylon the Great, you know, this altar that's set up for Esau to fall, for Esau to be sacrificed, I should say so it says behold the day of Yahweh come of cruel all right both with wrath and fierce anger now that's one scripture you won't get in the churches man you know I just want to look up cruel 
to show you that our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not one to be played with, man. Cruel. Oh, it ain't got but much here. It says harsh, cruel, fierce, savage. So our Lord is coming back like a savage. All right, what's that? Isaiah 63. You know, uh, he's trying to wine press alone. All right, that's the way our Lord is coming. He's coming like a savage with two edged swords in his hand, man. And this place needed. We need Yahweh Shai. We need him to come back and destroy the shit out of this place and destroy the people that rule over us, which is these Edomites and these other nations, man. So, yes, we want Yahweh Shai to come back. That is our only hope. That is our only salvation. There's no other way of salvation that's going to come to us except for through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Ooh. One who brings grievous tidings such as a, such as a sentence of death. Whoo, boy. Let me read it again. Isaiah 13, 9. It's a lock here. Yeah. Okay. It says, Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it now first off who are the sinners you israelites man all right two-thirds of you going to be destroyed esau okay he's going to be destroyed all right he set up all of these wicked branches and wicked traps for israel to continue in their iniquity so he's going to be destroyed ultimately but two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed as well it says for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light and the sun shall be darkened and his going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine all right this is verse 11 and i will punish the world for their evil and the wicked and their iniquity and i will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible so if you think you in good case and being proud in this world because you got money or you got fame you know then guess what? You're going to be brought down low. It says, I will punish the world for their evil. What is evil, man? You got Jake out here pushing the agenda, giving life to the image of the beast. They're supporting it. You know, go and get vaccinated. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man of the golden wedge of Ophri. All right, so brothers gonna become, you know, pieces of gold, man. And that's the elect men, you know, and that's why I could, you know, through the spirit of the Lord just a few weeks ago or a week ago, the Lord had the, the prophets, uh, apostles and elders and brothers, you know, just going into it uh, for you women, you know, touching the women topic again. You know, letting it be known that, look, the Lord's men is that piece of gold, man. A man who has this truth and who's the Lord dealing with. So it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophri. It says, therefore, Ophir. It says, therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Because ultimately this place and what you call Bab uh, America, which is known as Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear destruction, all right, in the ways of World War III. And you can see that brewing up, you know, they fighting out there in the sea, you know, going bickering back and forth as they do. And that's going to come. We got to deal with these elections and um, these uh, vaccines that they're pushing right now. So you have the birth pains, which are written, what's that in, address? Second address, you know, birth pains are going, man. This is truly the beginning of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and I'm gonna read one more verse and wrap it up. I wanted to make a quick hit. It says, verse 14, and it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one to his own land. These times are coming. All right, all you heathens that have your own land, you came to America to make this place your cash cow, you're gonna be headed back, man. All right, they're going to be striving to get back because you're going to be locked down in this place. All right, 
everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword who is the them that's esau all right you got jake that went to the military you know you're an enemy to the most high all right you you're a lover of this world so that makes you an enemy of the most high okay now you went to go fight in the army you know and you got brothers probably in there that probably uh you know in there and probably learning that they are now you know that's good for y'all brothers man get out of that shit man go AWOL whatever how you call it get out of that shit because that's the main uh uh hey that's Esau's teeth you know and that's what's gonna really be destroyed to really break him down well everything but that's his that's his bite and his teeth is gonna be broken out of his mouth man you know as it's written what's that in Psalms uh teeth of the young lion but anyway you know uh, I'm going to leave it as that. I hope this lesson was edifying, man. Uh, so lock it if I'm a little bit uh, off beat, just a temp of temple, a little bit, I guess. But hopefully you were edified. You know, we're living in that time. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.